Okay, let's talk about the Amcrest camera. Here I have it, it's a bullet camera, a pretty nice one. And I want to show you something, that's my diagram. So I have this camera here, and here's the diagram where you see the Amcrest camera here using a UTP cable to connect to my switch. It's a POE switch, so the switch sends power to the camera using the UTP or network cable, so I don't need to use extra power supply. I just need to use the UTP cable. That's what I have here right now. Okay, I have my laptop here and my laptop is also connected to the, to the PoE switch to a non-PoE port because it has some PoE ports and some non-PoE ports. In that case, I connect the camera to PoE port and that's the IP that I want for my camera, 192.168.0.105. It's not using this IP yet because it comes with another IP, okay? But in the end, I want to have this IP because my network starts with 192.168.0 something, okay? As you can see here on my laptop, 192.168.0.161, okay? Another thing that's important is documentation, okay? So I have here the Amcrest manual. I just went to Amcrest website and I got the menu here for this camera and I have all the information that I need here to set up configuration and stuff, okay? So back to the diagram. What I want to do now is to find the camera on my network because it's already connected. The cable is connected here and it's connected here and I'm pretty sure that it's physically working, physically connected because I can see the LED here on the switch that's connected. I can also see the LED here on the switch that's connected. So make sure the connection is good. Okay, first step. Second step, I need to find the camera on the network. So as I don't know the IP, I can use a tool from the manufacturer, in this case from Amicrest, to find the camera on the network. So here I have it already into the Amicrest website and I download this tool here, Amicrest IP Config. It's a free tool. Okay, so as you can see, if it founded the camera on the network. Okay, so basically what it did was ask in the network if there's some Amicrest camera there. So I run in the software here and the software say, hey, is there any Amicrest camera here in this network? And the Amicrest get this uh, in response back saying, yes, I'm an Amicrest camera and here is my information, okay? So the software got it. And here is the IP, 192.168.1.108. And I have the port number and everything else, okay? As you can see, the IP is different here. It's uh, in a different network, 192.168.1. something. If you come back here to the diagram, my network is zero something, it's different, okay? So what I have to do is to change the camera's IP. So let me just select the camera here and try to do this logging here. And here I have it, the camera IP address, username admin and password admin, first logging, that's the username and password. I can find this information here in the menu, okay? Somewhere here I have a default username and password, as you can see here, username admin, password admin, okay? It's different for every camera, for this manufacturer is that the way it works. And then I just click OK and gets me an error, connecting, connection failed. Why? Because I'm using different network. Remember here, I, I, my network is different. Okay, back to the diagram, it's zero something. So what I have to do here is pretty simple. Okay, I have here my IP and I can insert an extra IP that's in the same range the camera works, meaning I have to have an IP with 192.168.1. something on my laptop here. So I'm coming here, right click and open network internet settings. You can also go through the control panel to do this. Okay, so open here network, come here to ethernet, change adapter options. And other thing I'm going to do is to disable Wi-Fi. So I come here, click, 
right click, disable. So I have just one interface working. That's the ethernet interface that connects to my camera. Okay, connects to my switch. Now, whereas my camera is also connected, okay? So here in this interface, which means is this one on my laptop, I need to insert an extra IP. So I right click here, properties, come here to internet protocol version four, double click. And here I see my IP as I, as I show you in the diagram is 161, okay, 0161. So I do need to change this because this is the IP of my network. So I just need to add an extra one. So I come here, advance it, and here I can add an extra one. So I type here 192.168.1 one remember that's the camera's network 161 okay could be maximum of 254 don't go like with 300 400 or something crazy like that right is the the top one would be 254 there's a reason for that on the network classes i teach you guys that but here just go with the maximum 254 okay when you click here subnet mask it fills automatically for you just i click add here and now i have two different ips as you can see here 0 0.161 and 1.161 i just click okay okay again and one more time okay so now i just close this and when i try to do this again here login here is the camera uh, ip address so i'm connecting to the camera when i hit okay it's working okay pretty simple isn't it so now i have access to the camera and from here i can configure the camera you see here brightness contrast hue saturation everything else i can also have this through the web browser later okay and here network configuration as you can see here is trying to use DHCP. That means it's supposed to get the IP from my router. I don't know why it didn't get an IP because I have the router here. I know, I know why, I know why, because I, I'm not connected to a router here, okay? So in this situation, I don't have my router connected here. So there's no way to get an IP from the router because I'm just connecting to a switch, okay? That's the reason then, okay? So it's not getting, uh, an automatic IP through DHCP. So it comes with the default IP that I need to change. According to our diagram, I need to change to 168.0.105. So, so come back here and disable DHCP because I'm manually changing this to 0 0.105. Okay, that's all I have to do here, uh, gateway should be in the same network. If it's zero something here, my gateway is zero one. Okay, later when I connect to a router, this is supposed to work like that. Okay, so hit here, save. And it says RTSP save successfully. I don't know why this message, I'm changing the IP. I'm not changing the RTSP protocol that's here, but that's okay. Okay, save successfully. Okay, the data is wrong, save invalidate. I don't know why this message, but it's supposed to work. So now it's supposed to have a different IP. So let's just close here and refresh. And as you can see, the different IP is here. Now I have everything the way I want to. The camera using my network IP, my network range here as the same one and the laptop. So I can come back here to the configuration and if I want to, it's not um, mandatory, but I can come here back, properties, again, internet protocol, double click, and I can come to advance it, and I can remove this extra IP that I have here because I don't need it anymore. Okay, just click here, remove. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, close this and close this. Then now I still can have access to the camera here we go with login. Here it is. It's working. I can configure everything here. 
I have camera info and stuff. And now I supposed to have access using our browser, right? So let me come here and type the camera's IP. 192.168.0.105, enter, and here we go. Admin, and the password, remember, admin also. I saw that on the menu. Logging, and first time logging, it asks you to change the password, new password, that's for security, right? So I put a new IP here, a new key, uh, password here. It says it's strong, and again, I type the password here to confirm. I hit OK. And it's working. Now I have my camera working as expected with this uh, diagram. Now with information on this diagram and everything is working now. And I can also use different web browsers. I can see here I'm using uh, Google Chrome but you can also use Internet Explorer and other browsers, but you're going to see that in other videos.